you doing here? Right? Okay, well. Okay. Now, just stay here. Stay in this. This is where you were. This yep. is where you were. You just yeah. do what you're doing, and then as you're doing it, just. And you speak as one. Yeah. Well, basically the idea of the painting came about. Um, my original training was in stained glass, working with Sack Shaw and John Blythe. And the course in stained glass that I originally did was restoration and design. And as a method of learning how to paint on glass, we would at least once a year, even if we were working on design work, um, make a copy of an old panel. The idea being that to copy the techniques, you have to understand exactly how it's done. And so it's the best way of increasing your range of painting techniques. So eight or nine years ago, whenever it was, that I decided to take up painting in oils, then it seemed logical to do the same thing. Uh, and then over a year ago, I decided to, I had done a few copies from reproduction, um, but I decided to approach the gallery and ask to come in to make a copy, actually standing in front of the original painting. And so this painting here is a copy of Velasquez's, um, The Old Women Cooking Eggs. Um, and as I say, I've been working on it for over a year now. It's done using traditional Spanish techniques, whereby um, basically the process that you're working with is you paint monochrome to begin with and then what I'm doing at the moment is um, putting on coloured glazes which builds up the colour. The idea being that by building up the strong luminosity of the monochrome painting underneath it then projects and gives the glow that a lot of the old master paintings have that you wouldn't get if you just simply went in and started to apply colour and then tried to varnish it up. Um, at the moment, the painting's probably about nine tenths finished. Um, just now, today, what I'm be doing is going around and making sure that at the moment it's got heavy yellow glaze on it. The next glaze that will go on will be a red to try and balance that and dampen it down. And then the final stage of the painting will be to go around to correct the drawing on it and then put on varnish and then finally the final highlights will go onto the painting. And I hope I didn't say um too much. <laughs> um, no. And the big problem with the painting is no one went to leave it alone. The detail in a painting like that is such that it's staggering. And to try and copy every brush stroke would be you'd be here basically forever. just now is I'm just going around and tidying up the drawing. When you're glazing with the colour over, once you put on two or three glazes, it can have the effect of softening down a lot of your lines, so you constantly have to go back. And as on this jug, redefine a lot of the drawing. And a lot an awful lot of the things that you'll do when you're working close up don't seem to have a great effect. When you're looking at them close up, once you actually stand back and get to a viewing distance of the painting, then you can start to see, as in the dark on the jug there, it really starts to jump out once you get back just a few feet from the painting. <laughs> 